Push Fat Podcast in full effect. We are live with another episode of Neon Streets, and with another episode of Neon Streams, and we got CL Dre Beast in the building. How you doing, brother? What's going on, brother? How you good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm sure, good. Man, sure, it's been a sure. long day. It's been a long day. How you been feeling today, bro? Shit, man, I'm cooling. It's been a it's been all right day. Yeah, I've been chilling. I ain't gonna lie. It's been all right. It's been cool. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. So we're gonna start it off just for um, just for the guests and the audience that may not know you. Um, um, where you from, bro? All right. So like. You know, it's crazy. People think I'm from a lot of places and right. shit. Cause like, yeah. you feel me? I make beaches and I be everywhere. Yeah. But I'm from a little small city called Kanapa, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Concord, North Carolina, you feel me? That little area, shit like that. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm from. I'm from down that way. Not, not too crazy going on. Like, it ain't like no trenched out cities or nothing like that. You know, but you got his little hoods and everything. Same shit going in that nigga going in our hood too. You feel mm -hmm. me? Stuff like that. And so when you so when you say uh, like Kannapolis and Concord, like how do you feel that shaped your upbringing, and how did that get you into music? Uh, like my upbringing, I ain't gonna sit here and say like I was brought up like on some hard, hard, not hard type shit. Like not like I had my mama and shit. My daddy went around, so mm -hmm. my mom was like my mom and my daddy for real, for real. Mm -hmm. So like I came up in, in church and shit too. So it's like I play drums and shit on Sundays. So it's like I order, you feel me? To my little route, you feel me? I do what I do, you feel me? Did what I did. Fuck it, now I like shit. I want to do something involving music. Mm -hmm. So I try to school shit. School shit ain't work. So it's like fuck, I'm start making beats. That's how I went on YouTube one day, how to make beats, no cap. Mm -hmm. And shit, found out about FL Studio. She been up ever since. I think everybody's. <laughs> I think I even try to start. I like when I was like way younger. I try to do the try to do the whole producing thing with floor with uh, FL Studios. It just didn't work out for me. Maybe I was too young, but there were some people that was just nice with the shit. And they, I think everybody just kind of got in the game with that with yeah. that element of the game. And then <laughs> yeah, brought it and so. then brought it right back. Yeah. And, it, and it's funny that you say that too, because a lot of like some a lot a lot of people in music came from the church background yeah. and then transitioned into some form of genre of music and became great in it too. So like, yeah. do you have any aspects? Do you take any aspects of making beats and taking your music um, gift from church and bring it into your whole and bring it into br making beats? I'm going to say, I say, yeah, cause like, you know, so I play the drums. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like, when me playing drums, it's like, I know how to you not know, say put lay drums on a beat. You feel me? And like I play the piano. Like I never like played in church on the piano, but like I used to like watch. You feel me? Like I can't read music at all for nothing. Mm -hmm. But like if you go play something on the piano or some drums or a bass guitar, I'm gonna play it the exact same way. Mm -hmm. So it's like I just take what I learned from church. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And just put it into this trap shit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and it's crazy. So what's so what's like your What's like your process of making the beats? Like, what do you start out with? How do you like? How do you even start from scratch? Do you get inspired by something? Like, what what does that even look like? Um, I'm gonna keep it real. Like, when I go like to make a beat, I don't premeditate nothing. Like, I don't I don't sit there and think about what I'm finna make or like who I'm finna make it for. It's like I just start playing something. You feel me? Like, or I may find like a little loop or something. Like, it's a little random loop. Mm -hmm. It may sound it may sound like this, sound like that. If it's hard, it's hard. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use it. If I make some, it's some sad shit, but I'm not going in there and make no sad shit, I'm going to use it because it's hard. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's really just all about like how I feel at that very moment, at that very second, when I press that, key when I press that keyboard, about, about, about how I feel and what I press and what I make. And so what do you think is the most, like who's the most important when it comes to the track? Do you think producers are the most important yeah, us like, for sure. or for, or the <laughs> artists us for sure yeah yeah, yeah. man we we, yeah. we the point for real for yeah. real because yeah. like <laughs> if you ain't if you ain't got no if you ain't got no hard ass beat yeah. like so i ain't gonna do nothing like they ain't gonna go crazy and no uh -huh. no no clubs uh -huh. no no car no nothing you feel me like uh -huh. nowadays like just like your music gotta go crazy in the club you feel me uh -huh. like it gotta go crazy in the club like that shit don't go crazy in the club then it's like she ain't gonna do nothing for real, for uh -huh. real. Every every everything start from the club, bro. Uh -huh. And I said that, and I said that too. And I'm like, one 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 thing about that, I I always tell like artists like it's like stay in their lane. Like you know, if you're this, if you're like a J Cole, 
stay in that J. Cole lane. But one thing about it, if you can be in the club, you'll you'll you'll, you'll eat forever. Yeah, yeah. Because it never, it never. We still hear, we still hear songs from back when we was partying. I'm 28. Yeah, we still hear songs back from when we was partying. The bo- the bo- boozy loose as a goose, nigga. We was. Rocking that yeah. shit when I was in middle school, high school type shit. That's crazy. As long as that shit stay in the club, bro. You feel me? Like like you said, that if you don't got no club banger, then it's like, what is it? Yeah. Unless you like really nice with the whole J. Yeah. Cole lane. Yeah, young guy. Like it's that's just all the club, bro. Like in the strippers, you feel me? Yeah. Like gonna keep this shit real. Like <laughs> if the strippers fucking with it, they gonna go to the DJ, play this, mm-hmm. play that. You feel me? Like, that's what I learned. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's like, I'm gonna keep real like I'm the type of nigga Like I don't even go to the strip club With them nigga I'm kidding you already, We're already hunting I go there and fuck with the DJ mm-hmm. Like I tell him Hey bro You wanna play this for me I'll throw you some pay But I ain't gonna spend no money on the hoes mm-hmm. Cause shit If y'all go to the DJ Play this shit Y'all can put money in my pocket I'm gonna make You feel me mm-hmm. It's like shit Damn when I, when I get up for real for real Maybe I could throw something on you You yeah. hear me yeah. But till then It's different in this shit so how so how is it being a producer? What's been the hardest aspect of this game for you? The hardest aspect of this game. Yeah, what's the what's really the hardest aspect? Is it not? Because I feel like producing sometimes can be like be like the best and worst position because you don't get you don't get as much credit as you should right. for making the song. Exactly. That's what's up. That's but what's y'all up. are all like the heart of yeah. whatever the music is you know okay. just because like, like you said if like if the artist is like if the artist is whack you can have a hot beat and that shit mm-hmm. still go right it's still still go up like we see that in the industry now like yeah, not okay. every artist is talented sure. but the beat is behind it is hard and they yeah. just mesh well with the beat and so it's still you feel what i'm saying yeah oh shit man me like like as in my like my top producer bro i would say the hardest aspect in this shit bro is like just getting my shit out there, bro. You feel me? Like, that's the hardest aspect of this shit, bro. Getting your, getting your name out there, bro. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because, like, I'm going to keep it real, bro. A lot of rappers know me. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But that shit was not easy. Like, it's really, like, hard to get. I'm going to keep it real. Like, the average person can't get next to these niggas like I get next to these I'm going to keep it real. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just how it is. So, like, it's really about, like, just getting my name out there, like, standing for something. You feel me? So, like, because you know this shit, all, it's really a brand. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like you keep it real. Like I heard somebody said this in an interview the other day on Instagram. They was like, um, the producer more like the artist now. Mm-hmm. I can see that. You yeah. feel me? Like for sure, because it's like the producer now, bro. Like we getting money like the rappers. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. that shit go up. We going up. What do you feel me? Like it's just the money y'all charging for a feature. We can go try the same shit for a beat. Mm-hmm. It may be goddamn. It may take longer for us, but at the same time. We still, you feel me? It's just all the hardest aspect I see is getting out there and getting to where you want to be. And so, bridging off of that, like, what do you, as a producer, like, what for the audience? For the audience that don't know about anything about music, what does credits mean? Credits. Yeah. All right, boom. So it's like this. So, say, I right, so I got some push icy right called Jocelyn shit. Mm. All right, cool. Um, produced by you feel me? Me type shit. And uh, when you go look at the credits on like Apple Music and shit like that, mm-hmm. it'll say like "Cook It Up Dre" in the lyrics. Mm-hmm. And you go, you do a little more digging, it's gonna say Dre Beats on the bottom, produced mm-hmm. by Dre Beats. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's like that's the credit aspect, like that's the credit type shit. But like also, you may refer to credits as like who are all produced for type shit. Mm-hmm. Those are also considered credits, also. So it's like you feel me, just. It's it's two it's two different instances of credits in the producer world, <laughs> and so and, and like do you, so after because is that the song that went is that the song that went platinum? Yeah, that's the song that went platinum. That's, that's the song that went, uh, the whole album went platinum. You feel me? Yeah. So you know, like with that whole album going platinum, you feel me? Uh-huh. Shit, we we were part of it. You feel me? So yeah. like, I got a plaque at the crib right now. Got them. That's crazy. You feel me? I got a platinum plaque. Sort of guy like if we did at the crib. I can see this shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy as fuck. You know, just because you just cause you say that, I'm gonna post a picture with this interview. Uh-huh. Hold me, we're holding the plaque. Okay, so y'all can see this shit. All right, bet. No cap. I That's got lit. you. Sure. Yeah, That's please, lit. Yeah, please. Yeah. I got you. But yeah, brody. Uh, yeah. So like. Pretty much like the whole album with platinum type shit. So, mm. like shit, that shit big for me. For where I'm from, from, I'm just like, how did you? <laughs> how did you even link up Pooh How did you, how did that even come about? Because I know how hard you know how, how to get through the clutter of making beats and everybody makes beats and send it to the artists. How do you get through that clutter? Like, how does that even happen? Man, 
The way you probably thought I got that beat to Shiesty, that's not how it happened, gang. Uh, I'm about to put you down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me put you down right quick. So, uh, so basically, I made a beat called Goddamn Young Scooter, uh-huh. Black Migo City type beat. Okay. I put it on YouTube. You feel me? Like, this back probably like, what, 2017? Mm-hmm. It's like 2017. Made the beat, put it on YouTube, Black Migo, Young Scooter, Black Migo, uh, Black Migo City type beat. All right, cool. I'm making beats, you feel me, with the whoop from then until 2021. I'm cooking up, you feel me? Like, I'm getting little playmates here and there, you feel me? But it's like, it's not big. Like, I ain't doing nothing crazy. Mm-hmm. So, I get an email one day type shit from a, from a lady named Irene Soros. Shout out, Irene. You know, we locked in for life. Okay. No cap. Okay. You feel me? She emailed me one day. She was like, uh, I need our first and last name. You feel me? You got to do... um. You got. I gotta file taxes for the song. You feel me? Like I gotta sit on my bank. Like you feel me? Like around all types of shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was a scam. I ain't gonna lie. So I ain't even sitting on our rip. Mm-hmm. I go type her name in into Google. That shit's out of Atlantic Records. I said, "Oh, this might be a real person." You're right. So you know, she emailed me. She was professional. Saw so her number in the in the in the little in the little email and shit. Mm-hmm. I call it. You know, you call somebody and like. You can just tell like they voice mess with their face. Mm-hmm. Like I just I just knew it was her type shit. So we was talking. She was like, so yeah, go respond to the emails. So I responded to the email and shit. Shit. Uh the album dropped on February 5th, 2020. What was that 2021? Yeah. Okay, yeah, 2021. That's, that's before he went to that's before he got locked. Yeah, before that before, yeah, before my nigga went to jail, man. Free, free, hey, free, free shicey. You feel me? Free bankroll. Yeah. I should have wore a free shicey here today, but yeah. it's cool though. But yeah, free shicey, free bankroll. You feel me? So um, yeah. Did that album drop? Shit. And then I ain't gonna lie, like how I really got tapped in with like them on like some real deep music shit is like because I met like like I said, free bankroll. Mm-hmm. This nigga named Bankroll That's Pusha's right hand man You feel me Shout out Free Bankroll Free Bankroll Bankroll be on real song Shout out be on real song You feel me We did that Um, I be talking to Bankroll You feel me We be we be chopping up and everything But like Bank really the reason like I really like You feel me How I'm getting How I'm getting shit To like different niggas You feel me Like mm-hmm. people like that And like I fuck with the clothes and shit too So it's like I be You know what I'm saying When a rapper comes to the city hey, You need some clothes Shit I got clothes and beats Mm-hmm. You feel me? So like, shot. You feel me? Right. Come on, you feel me? So it's like, I'm just be hustling, bro. You feel me? Just that's how. But that's really how I got in. You feel me? Linked up. Man, so well, shout out, well, shout out to Irene. Um, did did Irene ever tell you how she got, how she like found you, or like she just or you just won't well, asking all those? You were just like, man, fuck that shit. We we, we nah. Can't. She uh, it's crazy because like you know when I put the beats on YouTube and everything, I put my email in the in the bio, like in the description. Okay, okay, okay. You okay. feel me? So it's like, if somebody want to buy this beat ten years from now. Mm-hmm. You can email me right here. As long as I can add it to that email, I'm going to see it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's just like, I just, you know what I'm saying? I just happen to see the email. Okay, man. That's what's up, man. That that story is like, that story is like crazy because it's like, that's like a one out of a million chance. Yeah, no cap. You know, like, that, yeah. that shit like that happens. Yeah, because yeah. there's a lot of scams. There's a lot of scams be coming out here. Uh, there you can send the e- you they'll send an email from like a Gmail account talking about they'll send you a con like bro like yeah. they just be trying to scan like you ever been I I know as a producer you've been like you've been in the game for this long you've seen scam emails and shit like that man I done seen a lot of shit yeah. man I done seen man I done seen scam emails bro goddamn it's like shit you got it but you got to just know like you got to know for real like who to respond to who not to respond to like, you got to do your research you feel me before you just go respond to anybody but you feel me mm-hmm. like you got to really like do your research on people for real, for real. right so and yeah. so did bankroll get you in touch with ytb or how did you how did that how did that come about shit how i got a fat ytb I, fat, I just, yeah. it's crazy so boom so uh it would come to charlotte and shit and got then you feel me it's uh fat got a partner named bd mm-hmm. then they got a little partner named buckle mm-hmm. you feel me so I put up on Booker one day in Charlotte, you feel me? Got down. Um, we smoking this shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I'm chopping it up with BD. Shit. Fat come outside. We at the hotel and shit. We just cooling, you feel me? Like, just really just, just cooling for real, for real, just conversing and shit. Got down. Um, boom. See him, you feel me? We go to the show. All right, cool. My little partner, uh, my little partner got down. Um, my nigga three, shout out my nigga three, Scomo Bust three on Instagram. He uh, he ain't getting the feature for fat. 
you know, I made the beat for it. So we go do the feature in Greensboro, you feel me? And um shit, we in the session. Mm -hmm. Fat like who made this beat? I'm like, I made the beat. He look at me like, Hey Fox, ain't you ain't you the nigga got them from from Charlotte? I'm like, yeah. He like, oh yeah, you you stand Fox, you certified. Woo do keep mine, but I don't think Fat really know that I was already lighted with BD, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And book him. So it's like with me, like, I don't even be locking in with, like, the main artist for real, for real, the first. I'm going to keep it real. Mm -hmm. I be locking in with their mans. Mm -hmm. So it's like, once, like, I'm going to keep it real, like, as a rapper, as an artist, if you see your partner fucking with a nigga, you feel me, that made beats, you feel me, he he a cool nigga, mm -hmm. that's going to make you want to see what he got going on. You feel me? So it's like, shit, I mean, I mean beats, you mm -hmm. feel me? And it's like, shit, when they know, I, when they found out I made a civil shit, they was like, oh, yeah, we going to fuck with you. Mm -hmm. So, like. I be I ain't gonna lie, I be seeing the fat damn near beats probably like every three four days. Right. Like, you feel me? But like, I be sent, I be testing the right to him. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's like shit. Should be dope. Should be right. cool. Man, that's I mean that's what's up to have that type of influence and to have that type of stamp that you were able to get in with rappers like that yeah. and artists like that. And I think that I think that's actually pretty cool and everything like that. But can you tell can you tell the people what it means? To actually network and how important it is to be networking and how over the grind of networking yeah, for sure, shit, networking, that's probably like the number one rule in this shit. For sure, I'm keep it real, like you have to network. Like as a producer, you can't sit up in the crib all day making beats, gang. Mm. Like that's not, it's not gonna it's get not it. like it may get your sound out there, but it's not gonna get your face. Mm. You feel me? Like, you got to put a face on this shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like, anytime I go around, you feel me, goddamn, they hear Cook It Up Dre, goddamn, in the club or something, you may see me right there. You feel me? You got to just, you feel me? You got to be out there, you feel me, or goddamn, say, goddamn, a rapper comes to the city, right? This how, this how, I'm going to tell you, like, this how I move, you feel me? Anytime a rapper I know comes to the city, bro, I'm linking with them. They got a show, I'm going to the show. You feel me? Mm -hmm. got, um, my boy, Big Zay, with the camera, he fires hell, yeah. no cap. You feel me? Had him pull to the show one time, got down. He pulled up. He fired the camera game. Yeah, man, 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 my nigga in there shooting like hell. I'm, yeah. talking about, I'm like, yeah, for sure. I ain't gonna lie. People like Zay, like, I can see people like Zay, like, he gonna be one of the niggas that's gonna be like, where the camera be fire as fuck yeah. in, in the industry. Like, you can be on some Cam Kirk type shit. Mm -hmm. Like, for real, for real. Most niggas don't even know about Cam Kirk. I know about Cam Kirk, man. A Zay Production, I know about all of them. You right. feel me? So it's like, yeah, bro. So it's like networking, bro. You got a network game. You got a network. You got to go out here and do shit. You got to put your face on this shit, bro. You feel me? No matter what you do, mm -hmm. you feel me? Like, you just got to put your face on this shit, bro. Oh, so you, have you ever made a beat and had to tell the artist that, like, nah, I don't want you to rap on this shit? Hell yeah. Like, like, not, like this shit, this shit, this beat may not be for you type shit. Like, yeah. How you to go about telling, like, an artist, like, yo, this shit trash. Like, I can't, I, you can't be on this beat right now. My you nigga, I don't want you on this beat. Yeah. <laughs> it's great like that. Yeah. My nigga, you was nothing to hop on this. You yeah. feel me? Like, for real, for real, like, I may be in the studio, and they be like, man, this shit, oh, I don't want to hop on it. I'll tell you straight up, nah. Because uh -huh. if I made the beat, so I know, I really understand, like, what's going to go. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like, if I tell you, like, I ain't trying to be the demanding ass nigga or nothing, but it's like, shit, if I tell you, like, I don't want you on it, you feel me? You ain't finna get on it. Mm -hmm. I don't care. <laughs> I ain't scared of it. Yeah, you, you had the story with a motherfucker that got down, was trying to get on the, trying to get on the beat, and was just, he was just like, nah. Man, that should have happened so many times, bro. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. That should have yeah. happened a lot, bro. Like, I right. be in the studio playing beats, bro, and he'd be like, bro, I want to hop on it, bro. I turn the script up, no. Right. No. Because you already bro, got a vision Yeah. But, but, bro, no. Right. No, you feel me? Yeah. Bro, I want to help him. No. You feel me? So it's just, hell yeah. It's telling where, it out of time. Where do, you, where, do you see this, where do you see this era of music going? Like, where do you see the trajectory of it? Like, I ain't going to lie. This shit fucked up right now. Yeah. Why? I'm keep it real. This like, shit fucked up. Like, why you say that? Because, like, it's just, why I say it's fucked up is like this, brody. Ain't nobody really. I'm going to keep it real. Like, it, the artist that's like, the art that's coming out, you feel me? Like, yeah, the artists, they be they be mainstream, you feel me? But it's like, we ain't got no artists that's like up there with like Future, you feel me? Thug, Drake, like, we don't got no new emerging artists, you feel me? Like, I'm gonna keep it real, like, them niggas is like on some different type shit. Like, I feel like if we have more people that's like on that type of level, you feel me? Goddamn on some, 
I'm no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the thug and the Drake and all that shit. I could like, you feel me? I ain't gonna like thug fight when he fight right now. You feel me? But it's like, it's just, I just feel like people just gotta be on some more original, some more different type shit. You feel me? Like, I just feel like if shit was like the trap shit, everything cool. I'm gonna keep it real, like, I'm, I be in the trap shit. You feel me? So the trap shit, that's my lane. But it's like, I know it's a sound out here, bro. That can like really change this shit for real. Mm-hmm. Like it's a sound. It's like it's it's a way to like really like bring all this shit together, bro. And just make some hard shit. Like I just know it is, bro. So you feel like originality is gone? I mean, at a yeah, music? I'm gonna keep it real. Like I'm gonna be like original. I, I would say that, bro. Like everybody coming to talk about like everybody coming against talk about the same shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That's why I ain't no rapper. So I'm a beast game. You feel me? Because I, I can I can. I'm gonna keep it real, like you can only rap or you can only rap a certain way, but you can make beats a million ways. Mm. Keep it real. Mm-hmm. So it's like, shit, ain't no originality in this shit, bro. You feel that? So I'm a producer, bro. Like I just said, that's why I make beats. Mm-hmm. You can do some. You, that's some more, more. That's some original shit. As a rapper, you can be saying all oh, this shit, woo-doo, woo-doo, but ain't did nothing you talking about. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's like I just I just feel like it's not it's not real. Like some it's not pure. You feel me? It's like shit. If you if you hard, you get a cuss on, you gonna get some money, you gonna blow. That's really how it go. It's great like that. Once you get a cuss off from a nigga, and if a nigga wanna sign you, yeah, you can be talking about some bullshit. But if that nigga think you hard, shit, you blew. Fuck it. Mm. That's how it go though, bro. So the shit really fucked. Ain't gonna lie. What's your favorite era of music? <sighs> be honest, mm-hmm. I don't got one. I don't got a favorite era of music, bro. Like. I just, I honestly don't, bro. I just, I listen to everything. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't got a favorite. I just like music. Do you ever take any inspiration from other genres other than hip hop, or do you just, just look when you're making beats, or do you just stick with like trap and the hip hop and everything like that? I mean, like, like I could play piano and see you feel me. So like, I could always like focus on R and B. You feel me? Like trap shit is just, like trap shit like. The trap, that's where I get my money. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Keep it real, like the way the way a trapper trap, they way mm-hmm. I trap beats the same way. You feel me? So it's like I just that's how I feel about it, bro. Give me a top five artist in the Carolinas right now. Top five artists in the Carolinas right now. Yeah, who's who's really <laughs> who's who's really on the t- who's really <laughs> doing it for real for real right now. Uh, who doing it right now? You gonna give you top five? You can give me not in no particular order. You give me top five or your top three. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna say, damn, you need one that like this. <laughs> <laughs> Had to put you on the spot real quick. Yeah, yeah they may not like this. Yeah, uh, yeah. and these might, might want to DM me about this. After this, after I respond about this, but fuck it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. Is what it is. Um. Man, you don't gotta be no particular order. Yeah, fast. I feel you, brody. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go back to like, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, Fetty P. Franklin. Hmm. Hot boy Shaq. I give it to Shaq. 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 Shaq got a little. He got a buzz for sure. I ain't gonna say little. That nigga got a big buzz. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Uh. Meach I'm gonna say Meach from the east mm-hmm. Okay that's Meach good, hard That's a good list so far Um My nigga just started rapping My nigga one on one Sosa Plug world Sosa Okay Yep I'm Give my nigga the four okay. No cap the four spot My nigga just started rapping He hard mm-hmm. Uh I'm gonna give you six Okay Give me six then Give me two right quick. Give me two that you fuck with. I'm gonna see if I can add them to my two. Two that I fuck with right now, out of the Carolinas, um, my dude from Winston Salem, uh, AC. Uh, okay. He signed a groundbreaking records in Durham. I'll show you. I'll show you some of his yeah, music me, afterwards. Yeah. What about somebody you think I might know? Because I don't, only can think about them right and now. And. You said mine, Hot Boy Shaq and Fetty P. Yeah. Man, I'm just like, I'm just like this. Yeah. Shout out my nigga R.C. Chapo. Shout out my nigga J. Deontay. Uh-huh. Shout out my nigga Goddamn Steady Rolling. 
Man, shout out, man. You know, shout out my nigga D Young too. I love what D Young is doing. Mm. Oh God, D Young. Oh yeah, yeah. D, yeah. D Young and Young, yeah. he, Young dude, bro. He got a flow and he's talented. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. He's I talented. Yeah, I ain't gonna sit here and even bullshit. He yeah. hard. Yeah, D Young. He's, he's he is talented. Yeah, he's hard. Um, I could put. I put that in my. I put that in my five. Yeah. D Young. He's hard. I got his tape on my on yeah. my phone right now. You like, know, I th- you young. know, who I think it's hard from the Carolina, the hardest female. I would say. Shot from the tray. Okay. She's hard. She's hard as fuck. She like, she's hard. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know why the hell she ain't blew up yet. Right. She's hard. Where's she from? She's from Winston, I think. I think she's from Winston. Yeah, she's hard, bro. Like, she's hard. Definitely have to, definitely gonna have to take yeah, a look at her, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I've been wanting to do an interview for a little minute. So, like, uh-huh. my thoughts really coming out for real, for real, bro. So, like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. She's hard, bro. For a female, like, one of the hardest females, she's hard, bro. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well that's a that's a top five. My boy, CEO CEO Dre Beach stamped that. Then yeah, I stamped that. Yeah, all right, then certified. Okay, okay. Hey, so where can where can everybody follow you at, man? Man, y'all can find me on Instagram at CEO Dre Beats. You feel me? That's it. I ain't on no Twitter, no Snapchat, no Facebook. I don't got none of that. Straight Instagram, CEO Dre Beats. You feel me? Y'all come tap in. You feel me? And just come yeah. cook it with me. And I and I and my last question, I always try to end up with somewhat something somewhat positive. If you have a dream artist that you would, would really want to work with, who would it be? A dream artist that I really want to work with. Yeah. Damn, Brody. Damn, that's a great question. That's a great question. Mm-hmm. Would it be in the trap realm still? Would it be out of trap? Would it be? Hip hop, non hip hop. I ain't gonna lie, I don't think it'll be on a trap shit. I'm keep it real. I uh-huh. want to make something like, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. Like, I want one of my like, I want one of my top songs to be like on some R and B shit. Mm. You feel me? Mm. Like, when I get to that point for real, for like, where I have plats on plats on like number records, number records, number of records. Mm-hmm. I want to have like an R and B song fall in somewhere right there, bro. Mm-hmm. So I would say like the R. I would say like I, I don't think I could tell you an artist, but like I would say like. I would do the R&B shit. If I could tell you an artist, I'm going to go with Mary J. Blige. Okay. All right. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like, I like that. I like that. I like that. I'm going to go with Mary J. Blige. Oh, my God. She. Yeah, legend. Girl. That's a legend. That's a game. legend. You feel? That's a legend. Like, if I give me some Mary J. Blige. Yeah. My mama going to cry. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, my mama going to cry, gang. She yeah. going to be like, wait. I mean, she going to cry regardless of anything I do that's positive. But if I go do that, she going to be like, oh, son. Oh, yeah, son. You gave it. Like, yeah. you gave it for sure. So, yeah. I would say Mary J. Blige gang. Word, word. Yeah. Hey, hey, CEO Dre Beats in the building, man. I appreciate you for coming on. Hey, it was a pleasure to have you coming on. You're gonna have to come back on. For sure. Um, we got we got some more stuff coming out, bro. You you you're a talented producer. I'm glad to have you up here, man. Man, appreciate you, brother. You feel me? You know, goddamn. You feel me? Just it's always an honor coming to sit and talk to another black man. You feel me? About something positive, you feel me? Trying yeah. to Trying to pick a nigga brain. I right. like that. You right. feel me? Yeah, you already sure. know. That's so. what I do. Been doing it for a long time. Hey, yeah. everybody, y'all can uh, follow me at Push the Push Fed Podcast on all platforms. Y'all can stream it everywhere Spotify, sure. Apple Music, anywhere that you um, listen to podcasts. Y'all can follow me at eman.carlis on Instagram as well. And we out.